Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take another look at the integrating factor in a way that we hopefully get a little bit more understanding about what this really is. So again, let's start with the same equation, differential equation, y dx minus x dy equals zero, which of course has a general form m dx plus n dy equals zero, where we can also write it as du is equal to the partial view with respect to x times dx plus the partial view with respect to y times dy. All right, now, Let's say that we realize that if we take the differential with respect to y of the quantity x divided by y, what do we get? And we'll get something that is related to our original equation. That's why we do this. All right, so let's take the differential of this. And so we can say that this is the denominator y times the derivative of the numerator, which is dx dx, minus the numerator, which is x, times the derivative of the denominator, which is, uh, oop, I'll take this back. Ooh. Almost made a mistake here. Let's go back. So the derivative of this would be dx dy because we're taking it with respect to y minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator, which is dy dy because it's with respect to y, all divided by the denominator, denominator squared, which is y squared. If we now take this equation and we multiply both sides, both sides of the equation by dy, so we multiply the left side by dy, we multiply the right side by dy, we get the following equation. The differential of x divided by y, therefore, is equal to, notice that the dy's cancel out on both sides of the equation, so we get y times dx minus x times dy divided by y squared. Notice on the right side that the numerator equals the original differential equation and the denominator, 1 over y squared, then becomes the what we call integrating factor. Of course, we can say that if we, set, if we then set it equal to 0, like this, then we know, therefore, we know that 1 over y squared is equal to the integrating factor. And then notice that if we set it equal to 0, then we get this equation right here, which can also be set equal to 0. And then we can look at the left side and say the differential of x over y can then be representative of du. So therefore, we can then say that the differential of x divided by y is equal to the differential of u, which is equal to 0. And therefore, we can say that du, or therefore we can say that u, is equal to x divided by y. And we know that if we take the integral of both sides here, we know that u therefore must be equal to a constant. So then we can say that u, which is a constant, is equal to x divided by y. And of course, let's just call it any arbitrary constant c1, which therefore means that the solution to this differential equation can be written as y is equal to c times x. Of course, this c and this c sub 1 is not the same c. So here is a very interesting way, again, of looking at an integrating factor. So just by chance, taking the differential with respect to y of x divided by y, we can then see that's equal to this, where the numerator looks very much like our differential equation. Multiplying both sides of the equation by dy, we make the numerator look exactly like this. If we set it equal to 0, we now have the same equation in the numerator. And then we realize that 1 over y squared then simply becomes the integrating factor which then means, if we set equal to 0, this is equal to the du. And of course, if this is equal to 0, which is equal to du, then we know that this must equal to du, which means if we integrate both sides, we can then say that u is equal to x over y. And then from that, we can find the solution to the differential equation. So just another look at what we mean by integrating factors. In this case, it's 1 over y squared.